What's up and welcome to the support video. We'll be tackling how to troubleshoot Safari being slow on your iPhone or iPad. This video, all you're going to need is your iPhone or iPad and your built-in controllers. Let's get started. One of the first things you want to do is make sure that you close out any tabs that may be open because the more tabs that are open, the harder Safari has to work. And sometimes you have more tabs open than you think. Now you can do this by opening up Safari and long pressing on the square icon in the top corner and just hitting close all tabs. One of the really cool options here is that Safari gives you the ability to automatically close out tabs after a certain time frame, And this will also help just free up some space and memory and help everything move a bit faster. So you don't have tabs just lingering in the background. The next thing you're going to want to do is clear any history and website data. Now, clearing the data helps reclaim some space and just helps everything move a bit faster. Eliminating this information also helps protect your privacy by removing your information of past browsing sessions and eliminating any cookies that may be used to track your online activity. So to do this, you're just going to hit the settings, scroll down to Safari and tap on clear history and website data and confirm and you're starting with a clean slate. Now JavaScript is an important component for most online experiences. Despite its many uses, however, it can actually boost your speed of browsing by disabling it because it limits interactive elements and reduces the loading time of some websites that simply may have just too much interactive elements in ads. So to disable JavaScript, albeit temporarily, you're gonna open your settings, scroll down to Safari, tap on advance, and then just toggle the JavaScript off. Now you can temporarily disable this for a boost in performance and re-enable it if the website that you're visiting has an important component that requires JavaScript. Next, let's disable Safari suggestions. It's sometimes a very useful tool, but disabling it can also boost your performance. So let's run light and shut it down. So for this one, again, tap settings, go to Safari, scroll down, and you're going to toggle the disable for Safari suggestions. Now, another reason Safari can feel slow is actually due to other apps running in the background. Background. Those background tasks can take up a lot of memory and slow down your overall browsing experience with Safari. So let's open up your settings app again, go to general and then tap on background app refresh. And then on the next screen, you're going to have all the individual apps that are running background processes. And you can kind of go through and disable the ones that you don't feel need to be running at all times in the background to help free up some memory and space for your browsing experience to be boosted and increased. The next thing we're going to want to do is also make sure that your OS is is up to date. If you don't have it set to automatically update, just hit settings, general, and tap software update. If you have an update that's pending, go ahead and download and install that. Next, what we're going to also do is reset your network settings. So this isn't going to delete any personal data per se, but it will erase your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and any kind of VPN configurations that you have saved within the device. And sometimes that can help to boost your overall performance if there's any stale information or any information that's just not connecting properly. So to do this, you're just going to go to your settings option, tap general. You're going to scroll all the way down to transfer or reset, tap the reset option, tap reset again, and then tap the network reset options. And finally, once this is complete, we're going to give our device that old great troubleshooting step of giving it a reboot because I like to start fresh and then check to make sure your browsing experience has been optimized with Safari. No slowdowns, no freezing, websites opening fine, then you're good to go. And there you have it folks, following these steps should improve the overall browsing experience for Safari for your iPhone or iPad. If you have any steps that I didn't cover in this video, go ahead and share them in the comment section down below. If you have a support question, go ahead and use that support link. That's also in the description of this video. We love to answer your questions and we love to provide support to the community because that's what we're all about guys thank you so much for checking out the video as always if you enjoyed it make sure to like share and subscribe to the channel for more support videos such as this make sure to stay safe stay technical and until see you next time peace out